dating in Korea as a non-Korean woman. Look, it's a Korean man and a non-Korean girl and they're in love. On my dress. One. Now, I have noticed that Koreans generally will say the words I love you very early in a relationship. I think at least in relationships that I've had before, um, it takes a long time for those words to be said and it really means like a, like a dedication to that person. It doesn't just mean like I'm crazy about you. So, uh, sorry, there's some moving going on over there. They're moving some stuff. They're really noisy. Um, interrupting me. <laughs> so, I have been surprised by the, the I love you. I know, at least personally, it, if someone says I love you very, very early on, it just comes off as really superficial and almost desperate and it's not really an attractive thing. A lot of young Korean uh, university students or young professionals still live with their parents and they do so until they get married. So um, if they meet a girl at a bar and they kind of want to, you know, see where this can go, they can't take them back to their house. So what they end up doing is taking the girls to a motel. Again, personally, if a guy takes me to a motel, my impression is like, what is going on? Just nothing appealing about that. Like, motels are skanky and dirty and they feel skanky and dirty. It makes you feel skanky and dirty. If you if you really want to meet that person again and see where it could go, I would, I would tell them that rather than suggesting they go to a motel. Showing up in a taxi at the motel is not, not a good idea. I was warned, even before I moved here, that DVD bongs are a skanky place where couples go when they can't go to their parents' house and they have a private room, basically with a bed, a couch that is basically a bed, and a giant movie screen. You can lock the door, so I think a lot of left things happen in those places. deal with the DVD bong and why would a girl ever agree to go there unless she was planning on doing stuff with that guy? Why Why do they exist and does anybody actually go there just to watch a movie? There are some lovely things about Korean men that I've noticed. Um, there's kind of a chivalrous aspect to them, like uh, if you see a girl walking with a guy, chances are the guy will be holding her purse. Love is all around. Um, also, the Korean men always pay. Always, always, always. Um, I guess that's kind of like the Korean way where um, the older person pays for the meal. Um, but it's also really nice. In Canada, we often, you know, say like, let's split the bill or, you know, I'll pay, you pay, it's fine because, you know, we're all equal and all that. So it's kind of nice to come here where someone just genuinely believes like, no, the girl doesn't pay, the man pays. And I'm being interrupted again by the working men. Okay, they're done. Also, Korean men give presents, uh, like a box of strawberries or uh, like a little phone charm. There's a couple things that I want to ask Koreans generally about being a foreigner and, and tr trying to just lead a normal life, like making friends and possibly boyfriends or whatever. I think it, that maybe some men are afraid of getting close to a non-Korean girl because they know that I, there's kind of a time limit on me, like, like I'm not going to be here forever. Are they scared because I can't make kimchi? Like I'm, I'm a little bit temporary, I think. Some people think that. Do you guys think that? Like, like I don't feel that way. Like I feel like friendship is kind of infinite to me. Like it, it, it goes beyond love, being interrupted. 
Now, I want you guys to know that I don't mean any at all, any discrimination. I, I desire that kind of friendship, so I'm not at all knocking Korean men at all. Like, I, I love Korean men. So, uh, please don't think that. I'm just remarking on some of the oddities of dating outside your own culture. You know, please don't get the wrong impression of what I'm saying here. You know, Korean men or women who have dated foreigners in their own country or you've dated a Korean person as a non-Korean person and I'm interested to know how it's working out or what your experience was like.